Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. Uh, before I get into this, I want to quick uh, apologize for the lack of videos, especially Redstone videos lately. I've been uh, busy working on a project for Redstone, which will probably come out in a couple days, and I've also had some real life issues with uh, recording and stuff. So that's why I don't have too many videos out about Redstone lately. Uh, mostly survival, and uh, I know yesterday I just didn't upload a video. That's because I was busy all day. Um, I'm I'm sorry for that. But anyways, getting into this uh, this episode, this is a compacted version of my hex adder that I made over here. Uh, it's smaller because it's stackable in a fashion that's very very easy it's easy easy to stack. You can see that the inputs are a lot closer together, and that they're like layered on top of each other, which makes it a lot easier to stack upward uh, across. Like this is four bit. This is three bits, or three digits in hex, and this is four. So this one, and this one's smaller, still smaller than that. Like in terms of like width that way and length. Length doesn't really matter because it's always the same length, but width. It's always... Basically, you have a certain width for the device as a whole. And then every new bit you add, it only adds like... Does it only add one? I think it only adds one to the width. Just because of how it stacks. So I could have 16 more of these and it would only be 16 more wide. As for this one, it would be however many long this, however many wide this was every single time. So this one is a lot more compact. It is also really short, even shorter than the one I have over here. Uh, I'm pretty uh, proud of how short I got it. Uh, I th I'm not sure if it's the smallest one. Uh, it might be. I haven't seen any smaller ones. But I'm not going to go ahead and say that it's smaller than everyone else's because there's probably someone who made a better one. Um, and it's about the same speed as that one. Same speed. So, let's just see it in action here. Uh, let me put in uh, 15 plus carrion. So that's 15 uh, carrions right here. Uh, it has an interesting carry uh, in the back on the other side. These lines here are the carries. Uh, I had had to do some interesting wiring for that with uh, like the detector rail here to keep it going keep it um, from passing into this torch because that would screw it up so uh, that's 15 plus 1 which is 16 so carrying to the next bit uh, from 16 here maybe we could propagate a carry again so that would go on to 256 um, we could we could uh, add three or something, so four and then uh, twelve that would carry as well. Um, just to show it carrying across all the bits, I'm gonna turn this off for a sec and turn all of these on to fifteen, and the carry outs back there. Uh, I'm gonna flip this on and carry out this on, carry through all the bits. So yeah, it's reasonably fast. It's not any slower than the other one. It's the uh, same speed. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot better than that one. Uh, and there's reasons why. Like for instance. This over here is the carry uh, logic. This comparator right here decides if it's going to carry and how much by it carries. And uh, on the other side here, I have this, which disables the original sum to uh, allow for carry to modify it. And this one right here allow, uh, actually applies the modification, which is carry out strength minus one, or, or uh, yeah, minus one. But normally, how to how I would minus subtract one from the carryout strength is what I would use a uh, like in this one I used a uh, two long uh, 
signal length here. But in this one, I didn't have room for that unless I made it really long. So I actually uh, was able to fit a subtract thingamajig right here that just subtracts one. And that's really tightly packed right in there. Uh, that's one reason why I got it so small. Another reason is I used a interesting uh, method of blocking it to allow for the carry to modify using uh, this repeater right here and there's a redstone on that block right here this block which if you can it's kinda hard to see but it feeds into this which when the carry is on it turns this off and basically it doesn't allow this to output at all because it's subtracting it from 15 so if there's no input so let's say I have let's say I have a carry so that's a carry see now now it won't output and that allows for whatever mod modifications to pass through. So, um, yeah, the half adder is really small. I like it. Uh, it's from basically cuts off right here. That's that's the first half adder. Everything to the left of this, pr pretty much. So yeah, it's a lot smaller than my first design. And then, uh, oops, <coughs> sorry, uh, and then, uh, there's the, uh, these carry lines are kind of interestingly staggered, just, be, just because of how I had to do it. So, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool, I have to say, I, I like this design a lot. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to be making more of these. Uh, this seems pretty good. It seems good enough to me, honestly. Uh, it probably could be faster. I'm not sure how. There's a couple places where you could probably remove some repeaters or something. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'll let someone else figure that out. Um, or maybe I'll get bored one day and do it. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.